Not sure what I'm going to be doing yet. I've got one of these um, Jackson smooth painting panels, which I like, which are ready gessoed, ready to use. Um, I've squeezed out some colours onto my palette, uh, lots of acrylic paints, bits of yellow, green, pinks, turquoises, just to sort of have a bit of variety of colour. And I'm just going to get a large palette knife and start just putting some colour down fairly randomly without really overthinking things. So some rather nice, this is a lovely colour. Um, I just found this when I was clearing out actually. It's a Galleria one, Windsor and Newton, and it's called Powder Blue. Um, rather nice for a, a sort of cool sky. And just mixing in maybe a bit of white. Um, I've also um, got, this is probably my favourite grey, uh, the Golden Pains Grey. I get through pots of this, so I tend to buy it in, in large quantities. So to just maybe add in a bit of that. Oh yeah, that's luscious. It's a very bluey grey. It's um, probably my favourite of all the greys. Um, the paint moves around very easily on these boards, almost too easily. It's very slippery in the early stages. So I'm um, just going to just work that in a bit just for a starting point. So I'm not really overthinking this at all. Don't really know where it's going yet. Um, I might attack it with a brush in a bit. Just trying to get some background colour on and once I've started building up some layers it'll become easier to, to work back into. And I've got this, I'm not quite sure about this blue. Again, I've just been clearing out a bit and I find all sorts of things in my drawers. So this is a, um, I can't even read what that says. There he is. Uh, it's an Amsterdam paint um, and I'll read it when I've got my glasses on later, but it's a very, very bright, vivid blue. Ooh, now that is actually more turquoise, turquoise than I was expecting and I'm rather liking that actually. It goes quite nicely with that very deep sky. I'm not worrying about where anything's going at the moment because um, I'm going to be building up with several coats. This is one of my favourite turquoises. Um, it's become quite common again on my palette, the turquoise. I, I used to paint a lot just in very earthy colours, but I seem to be, with spring on the way, I seem to be lightening up a bit. So I think I've got a nice bright yellow here. This is actually lots of different makes of paint. This is actually the Indian yellow. Um, it's an interactive atelier one, so I don't even know where that one's come from, but it's got a lovely warm feel. And actually, it's very nice mixed. If I mix it with a dark green, um, I'm not doing a lot of mixing on my palette. I'm tending to sort of let me mix a bit on the page. I'm wanting this to be spring-like, so I've got my favourite pink back on the go again. And the pink, my go-to pink, is always the Sennelier one. I just absolutely adore the Sennelier um, Quinacridone pink. It's just a, a fabulous colour. It's a very soft pink um, and I, I've tried others but I tend to always end up just going back to this. So at the moment as I say I'm not really even thinking where I'm putting anything down. I'm just putting a bit down and covering my background and then it'll give me room to come back in and play with what I've put down a bit later. Let's just finish covering up the bottom here a bit. So as I say, it's a very, very smooth surface this, um, which has its challenges, but um, I like a smooth surface. Um, I like to work on paper. I like to work on gesso boards. Um, I do work quite differently if I'm working on canvas, but um, yeah, so that's quite nice. You see scraping back into it there, as I've got this, this rather lovely, as I'm lifting that a bit, it's rather lovely light. I'm not worrying about straight lines or anything really at the moment, but, ah, now that blue mixing in with the yellow is quite interesting. So I quite often, if I'm just on a Sunday afternoon, you know, just, just have a little play, see what happens. Don't overthink it. Um, I've got far more colours here than I usually have. 
Um, I used to be very much a two colours on the palette and they tended to be a blue and an earthy colour. But I don't know whether it's because it's spring or because I've been clearing out and finding all these colours in my drawers, but um, I'm very much varying my palette these days and I keep finding new colours that I rather like. I think what's important is to find colours that that you personally like, that, that work together for you. Um, don't just do something because somebody says, but also don't, you know, don't be afraid sometimes to just vary your palette and, and go for something that maybe you think is a bit outside your comfort zone. So I'm going to work back into that sky. It's probably a bit wet yet, but never mind. Oh, now that's interesting. My white has got bits of yellow in it and bits of green in it, which gives me a far more interesting blue hue than if it had just been a plain white. I do get through quite a lot of white, but I quite like it when it gets just a little bit mucky um, and it's not too, too pristine. It can be a bit in your face if it's pure white. So I'm, you know, just playing around and as I say, really, oh, ah, nice bit of dark. I think it's important to have tonal ranges in your painting um, to try and have bits that are, um, a little bit more intense. It lifts the lights if you've got um, darks to, to counteract them. And you can see that actually I'm taking off almost as much as I'm putting on. And in some ways that's a bit of a shame because I did have some quite nice marks that I'm actually beginning to lose. So this is probably a stage where I ought to say, do you know what, I'm going to start another one while some of this dries. Although that's still, oh, some quite nice stuff happening in my sky there. And don't forget all of this, I can go over it. So I'm not, I'm not thinking of any of this as the finished marks. But having said that, quite often you end up with something where you have got marks that you would like to keep. It's a bit Van Goghy with all those stripes in the sky. I'm feeling that I might put a little bit of pink in the sky as well, just because. And I might actually bring in a brush and um, I think I might go for the greener. What I do like with the board is if you paint quite thinly, you get this lovely translucency with the white of the, the board shining through underneath. Quite like that variance of tone. Uh, not worry too much whether it's straight on the horizon or not, because I can build that up later. And I might even then. So as you can see, I'm really not, no real fixed ideas in mind. I have no idea where this is going. I'm already running out of white. I do get through a lot of white. I've got hints of some rocks and some hills here. I'm quite liking the softness of this bit of pink that I've got beginning to build up here. And then with a bit of white just around the sort of water's edge here. Might be a little bit too hard. I might get a pencil and might sort of think about maybe drawing into this a little bit. Something a bit too much there. Not really cleaning my brush or my palette knife or anything in between. But while the paint's still wet, you can do some really nice mark making in it and just start building up bits of colours. I think probably a bit more of this lovely yellow. I enjoy working with a palette knife because I find it a bit unpredictable. Um, just because sort of touches in different places and leave you marks sometimes that you're really not quite expecting. Oh, that's, yeah, no, what am I doing there? Sometimes you can see I have actually made a nice little mark and then I've almost immediately lost it, which can be a little bit upsetting sometimes, but you can always get them back again. I think I'd like to work into this little black bit up the top here where I've got this, this little bit of, I don't know, is it, a bit of, land on the other side of the water. I do try sometimes to think I'm not going to have horizon lines and 
but actually I don't know for me that's that is the Cornish coast really but I find it quite difficult to move away from that mm, that's quite interesting so as I say the nice thing on these boards is being able to sort of work back to that lovely that lovely surface underneath where that's going to finger maybe I that might want a bit of I keep saying I'm going to stop and let this dry and then I just oh, let's just see what happens if I do that no, see that was too wet underneath so I'm not sure that I'm particularly liking what's happening there let's just soften that out with the oh so that's quite interesting there sort of feeling of the sunburst coming through. Not sure what's going on there. Let's just soften that. Could be land in the background. Oh, no. So again, you know, I had some lovely stuff going on there that's almost disappearing. But I've lost it a bit. But let's just soften that back up. I've got some rather interesting rain clouds coming in now, which I'm not sure how that works with this bit of pink on the other side but as I say there's everything still to play for. I've lost those lovely darks that I had over here so maybe I just need a little bit of that to build in. I'm thinking maybe a bit of white across the middle there. Um, so probably these, these um, wedges are very good for anything like this. Oh way too much on there. Didn't need all of that. Let's just softly brush that out. Bring that across. This is just looking like it needs a little bit. It's drying very, very quickly on this board, which is the the other thing I find. That's quite interesting, that little bit of white there, isn't it? Not sure about some of Fingers are great for just softening some of this. Um, I think I might just bring in a few bits of spring flowers down the bottom here. And I feel like it's sort of, it's a bit bright, some of this yellow and green, but I think probably needs to be lifted a bit. So possibly with a bit of I don't know, turquoise. I'm going to mix some turquoise and some blue just to get a bit of depth. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's almost like sort of bluebells in the It's a very sort of intuitive way of painting. It's really sort of trying to, to not overthink it, to try and not have too much of a a plan in mind but to just be building it up as you go along really. Um, I think I'm probably going to leave this now to dry before I work into it any further because um, I've got some bits that I'm quite liking that are going to get lost if I work too much on it now. So I'm going to stop there for the moment and I will carry on again later.